Right now we're creating art, which is our paintings as we did right here. We're using that to create it on the floor with our water. Make it, we're trying to make Love Park our canvas, basically. Using the cup, we use tape around it. Enough tape to need to provide a small access hole. Okay. And we put water in it from the fountain, from Love Park fountain. And after that, we just start painting. Use any piece of space we want, dab down the water, and uh, follow. Basically, we're tracing them. Did you come up with this method, or? Um, it's a mixture of studying. Um, there's an artist that's coming to the museum, Michelangelo Pistoletto, and he has a project called Love Difference. And we've studied some of the ideas that they have in that, um, in that project from their um, workshops in Italy. I had the opportunity to work with one with the Museum of Philadelphia, two with artists, with Ben, and I had the opportunity to participate in activities like this. So, if I was not here, I don't think I would have done this in the Love Park. Who does art and creativity belong to? My answer was, creativity belongs to the people, or rather anyone who sees art and transforms it in their mind to be what they want it to be as in anything.